<clears throat> hey, good morning, friends. What I'm gonna do right now is I wanna be very self-critical and conduct some critical self-analysis on my work and the processes that I undertake here to do this kind of work. Maybe it will be some benefit to you uh, because you know whatever profession you folks may be in, it may be related to this kind of profession, it may not be, but we all have subcontractors. We ourselves are subcontractors at some times and uh, we rely on people and people rely on us. And um, this is why it's very important that we have standards and we have accept acceptable tolerances for uh, jobs that we do and jobs that we pay someone else to do. And uh, I'm always undertaking and looking to be better today than I was yesterday. That's just how it goes. I mean, if we don't do that, we'll just be stuck in mediocrity, mediocrity. And this is something I do not want to do and never will do. Um, I want to just talk to you now and show you a few things about the Alfa Romeo. Um, a couple flaws. Granted, the flaws um, had a genesis under my tutelage, but I assumed and I thought that the next layer, the next level, the next person that I hired, we hired to do the, you know, finish work on the car would have would have seen, would have addressed, would have fixed some of the issues. And I did make them known to uh, people, hey, man, watch out for this, watch out for this. Um, can you make sure you, you address this and fix that and, and make it good? And, and you know, the... The assurances I received was, yes, of course, it'll be fine. It'll be great. So um, ultimately, it all comes back onto me and responsibility because um, the owner of, and I'll just tell you this historically, the owner of Muscle Car Restorations up in Wisconsin, I can't remember his name, <laughs> forgive me, but 10 years ago or so, or more, actually more than that. I went up there um, to see, we, we had to go up there and do some family stuff, but I swung over into Wisconsin and went and met this guy, had a slight tour of his factory, and he, and he told me some words of advice. He said, always take ownership for your subcontractor's work. And that stuck with me. So because of that, I'm gonna just address these things and look at these things and bring these things to your attention and share them with you because, um, you know, we, we can't always share good news and quality stuff. We have to share some of the things that are not so good and not so quality and things that we're not really totally 100% proud of. Um, you know, this is my mantra. This is the way I like to look at things. So I'm going to just turn around and share this a couple things with you on the Alpha right now. Okay? Okay, we put a new door skin on the Alpha. It's a brand new door skin, original frame, original door, but just the skin is different. Um, the gap on the bottom is just it's just a little bit too wide for my liking and the owner's liking um, because it, it does get smaller as it goes towards the back and it, it could be a flaw in the rocker and if that's the case then that's on me um, everything ultimately falls back on me of course but uh, I don't think it is because the rocker fit really well in the line right here in the bottom of the fender um, is consistent with the rocker. So we think that that's probably good gospel um, accuracy in that. So I think it's in the door skin itself. So what I'm gonna have to do is lower the door skin a little bit, add material onto it, and then bring it all the way back, you know, somewhere in the, in, in the range of two thirds of the way back to make that correct. Also, the gap here is, is just too tight. Um, it's good there, and then it gets smaller I like the reflection, you know, it's really good, but the, it gets smaller as you go down. Now the door opens and closes with no, <clears throat> with no interferences, you know, hitting the door to the fender, door to the quarter. Um, so we're good on that. Also the quarter, if you remember, this is a brand new full quarter panel. And the line here, even though there's really not much of a line there, you can still see it and it is consistent with the top of the rocker. So those two matrices of understanding and measurement and, and alignment are reflective of truth. So 
we can pretty much assume that these things are good. And this is all wargaming that I did when I installed these products and put everything together when the car was upside down a few years ago. So when it comes back to the door, we're gonna have to adjust the, the gap there and make this a little bit bigger. And the only way to do that is I'm gonna have to take some material off the quarter, just a little bit. Probably the length of the orange or the yellow tape. Um, sad to say, I, I wish I didn't have to do that, but I think I will. Also in the back, um, I, you know, this just is not acceptable to me and we will get this fixed. This is where I welded on the new lower valance and the, and the new, well actually, let me take that back. Not a lower valance, this is an entire tail panel, okay? This is an entire tail panel. The weld seam is right about here. And the whole thing, it's, it's attached with a bunch of spot welds right in this area where my finger is. And this is an area that should have been better body filled. And I don't know if there's really any body filler on that, honestly. Because you can see, you know, some of the weld inclusions right here. And I, I thought for sure that those would be taken care of. But the guy who painted it, he said he wanted the car down low to the ground, you know, respective of these wheels, and to not have it up in the air because he wanted to paint it. I guess there's a, there's a, a skill of painting the car when it's at the right level. All the panels are aligned in the right orientation so the paint sticks better, to, it looks better to the eye. And I, I get that, I concur with that. But this just should not have been done that way. Underneath these, these bumper mount pads, you can see some inclusion flaws right there. I just don't know why body filler wasn't put on there properly and addressed properly. I, I just can't understand it. And it, it's really bothering me that that is the case. So we're gonna have to fix that. And uh, also there's a lot of runs underneath and the runs would never have been uh, allowed to escape the paint facility if the car was up in the air and if the, uh, um, you know, the, the workers were able to get underneath here, underneath this lip and address it and get some of the runs out of it. Um, I, I mean, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. I'm not trying to be, you can see the runs right there. I'm not trying to be, uh, uh, you know, a walking phallus or anything, but I'm just trying to say that we have to put out good quality work. And um, this is just one of the, a small flaw that we have to address in these two areas and I think the other door is okay because that's an original door um, and the gaps on that are pretty good it's it's just barely within tolerance I think but uh, same thing here the lines the top of the quarter or excuse me the bottom of the fender line up with the top of the rocker and it's consistent and it ties in back to the to the quarter panel and if you remember right that these quarter panels are brand new also full quarters Really good, high quality stuff from Classic Alpha. Um, you know, really, really good stuff. Now, let me show you something that really turned out really good. This front valance, I put this on. Um, I spent a lot of time making sure that this valance had no flaws, no inclusions, with the exception of around here where it mounts. And this is an area that I thought, you know, should have been you know, should have been, could have been, but wasn't fixed and addressed. But uh, you can see here, you know, I, I uh, flanged this and welded that on. And there's pictures to support this work right here from a few years ago. So uh, I'm not bitching, I'm not complaining, I'm just illustrating, illustrating the good and the bad. You know, when I was in the Army, we had many uh, commanders, many S3 uh, OICs. You know, they'd always want to know, give me three good and give me three bad, Sergeant Buswell or, you know, private uh, whatever. You know, give me three up and three down because this is what we're all collectively as a team. We all have to do better and make our work better. So my lane is this, and I've chosen this lane. Um, so I try to apply some of these you know, some of these battle uh, practices in my work. Seems to work really well. Anyways, 
let me get to work. I wanted to share with you that moment and I will be sharing videos of this work as we go along. I certainly don't want to really intrude in this paint too much. It will be intruded in a little bit. I've got heat paste to put all in here to keep the door from warping. Um, I've got extra paint, so we're going to get this repainted a couple places and blended in here in the back. And it will be really nice. It'll be a beautiful car and we'll get this thing done. I finally got some new help today coming in. Um, you know, he's going to help me get all the stuff, all the bushings put together, all the control arms, the suspension pieces, put the rear end in, put the engine in, transmission, uh, paint all this in here, black, you know, make it really nice, make it really pretty and uh, get this car out of here. So um, those are my three ups and three downs, basically. So folks, got to go. Have a good day and always try to be happy. Try to have a good disposition, a good heart and carry around a good attitude because you'll attract, you have that aura, you, 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 you give off, you know, you give off that, whatever, whatever you give off, you give off, you know, you attract in what that, what that aura is, you know, um, you know, be cognizant of that. That's what I try to do. So choose. even up too far on that. So come on over here and get better control over it. You might have to go up underneath it. Yeah, see so you went up too far on that. So you just want to keep it on the, you're almost done there. Just, see so you just lost control of that. That's what you don't want to do, remember? Okay. Second day, good morning folks. Second day on the Alpha. Uh, I'm just gonna um, kind of, uh, this, this video right here, this string of vignettes, videoettes, um, it's just gonna try to capture um, a day or two of work to get a task done uh, before I can get on the other tasks. So let me just show you what's going on on the door, what we were able to get done yesterday. Um, the gap, is sort of set uh, it's not by any means finalized as of this moment um, this piece of bar that we put in here this let me show you what I used a little flat half inch piece cut that in half it wasn't as easy as you think um, it wasn't quite cut in half, but it wasn't quite, uh, you know, I achieved the cut I needed because the door gap itself, as you remember earlier, was uh, decreasing as it uh, went towards the back. So let's try to capture, if I can get some light and get a good video, let's try to capture some of this. I probably will not weld all of that, um, but I probably will not put in some soft body filler. I'll utilize some panel bond in there, and I still have to do the back a little bit more. And I'm, I've been thinking about this lower door gap where it meets the quarter. I think I'm just gonna shave a, maybe you know, a millimeter off the door and a millimeter off the quarter. But I don't know exactly. I do not know. We'll have to test and see and try and be very cautious, be very, very slow in the movement to do that. I was able to just paint the, let me back up a bit, able to paint the inside of the wheel well now this has already been undercoated, but it has some overspray on it from the silver. And so I just put the semi-gloss paint on it, also on this side. 
try to back up and get a good shot. So, and I want to measure the bottom of the gap, um, but the battery, and I'll just show you real quickly. The battery I need is dead, and I sent Greg out to try to find a battery, and we've got some in here that will work, but they're too fat, so we need a we need a a less tall battery. Diameter is easy to find, and I put the battery in, and it works. But um, I don't know, just got to find a battery. I've got that in a larger one, but I think it's just too big to fit you know, with a long handle up where the door is. So, try to find and fix this. Kimball Midwest, good stuff. Really good, high quality tools. So, um, there it is. 74 Alfa Romeo, GTV, or maybe 73, can't remember. Progress is ensuing. Gotta go. See ya, have a good day everybody, bye-bye.